Well, one of the other things that strikes me as unique, and I may be wrong because I've been here at Notre Dame for a, a long time, that sets Notre Dame Law School apart perhaps from others is I, I'm always astounded just over the last five years, for example, the number of U.S. Supreme Court justices who come to visit the campus uh, to, to, to give lectures, to, um, to judge mock trials in all different shapes and forms, but it's the bipartisan nature, you know, to have from a Sotomayor and a Ginsburg to a Kavanaugh to an Alito. Um, are there any other law schools in the country in this really politically divisive and emotionally charged time, are they bringing in Supreme Court justices like we do on both sides of the aisle? So, Lou, I was at Stanford for 22 years. And in the 22 years that I was at Stanford, we had three Supreme Court uh, justice visits. And, and uh, all three of them had been graduates of uh, Stanford. Uh, Justice Rehnquist, um, uh, Justice Breyer, who went to... Um, uh, Stanford uh, as uh, as an undergraduate. All all three of the the justices who came to Stanford, um, uh, and Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, who had also gone to Stanford Law School. All three of the justices who who went to uh, who uh, who came to Stanford over that twenty two year period had gone to Stanford. Here um, we have had um, justices across the spectrum, and. Um, uh, I get notes from students all the time saying that uh, how blessed they feel to be at a place where Supreme Court justices feel comfortable. And that's the key. Mm -hmm. um, of all the law schools in the country, Supreme Court justices feel that they're going to be treated with dignity and respect here. Um, unfortunately, across the country, um, cancel culture has taken hold in, in higher education and um, and, and justices um, are concerned about whether or not they're going to be treated with dignity and respect when they visit a place. And that's not true uh, here at Notre Dame. They know that they will be uh, treated uh, with dignity and respect here. Um, we tell our students that we take our Catholic mission seriously, that you might disagree with the student sitting to your left or to your right. You might disagree with your professor, but at the end of the day, those students and sitting on either side of you and that professor are created in the likeness and image of God. Mm -hmm. And you have to remember that and how you treat them. You treat them with human dignity, um, that the same human dignity that you expect to be uh, treated with. And so um, our students have taken that to heart. Um, we carefully select our students uh, for uh, their embrace, their demonstrated embrace of service to others and a commitment to, 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 um, to those values. Uh, and so I think the uh, Supreme Court justices recognize that Notre Dame is different, mm -hmm. that, uh, that they will be treated with dignity and respect if they come here. That's beautiful across both sides of the aisle.